Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how to create a, a voice assistant in Python. So, just very quickly, the, the, the voice assistant in the meaning that I have a Python setup, I can start, it then takes in a recording. Well, it allows me to say something and record it. It then passes it to ChatGPT, which then provides the response. And in this case, I then have a robot voice read that out loud. So let's just try a few examples to see how it works. So I'll just quickly start it. I'm gonna look for a response. So if we do something like this, let's see if it actually. No problem. What would you like me to clarify or explain? So yeah, that got way too complicated. So let me just actually try to do it properly and do a smaller one. So let's, if we just run it. What is two plus two? It seems like there was an issue with speech detection. If you have a question or need assistance, please type it out, and I'll be happy to help. So that was still too complicated, let's try again. 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So there we go, but again, this is very much also limited to that. I'm just using like a built-in Python basic uh, recorder. I actually don't know how good it is, it's just someone, something I found. But again, this general concept, if we go through it, is that I have my outer run area, which then runs my main Python file, takes in recording. Looking at the recording, I'm using something called a speech recognition, a Python library, which then basically just allow us to start a recording based on some parameters. So we have a wait time, how long we wait for someone to stop talking to kind of like take that recording. It then turns it into text. It turns that text. We then pass that text to ChatGPT using a pretty basic setup. I have a secret environment variable with the API key. And we then use ChatGPT 4.0 mini to then simply take in whatever was detected. And it then returns some text. And we then have a small set up in Python and then speaks that text or reads it out loud using a Python text to speak library like this. So again, actually a pretty simple setup where we have each of these different functionalities separated. And as you saw, it, it doesn't work very well. I think it's mainly because the recorder when turning it into text have some limitations on actually being able to turn the audio into exact text but if we just give it a quick try again just to play around with it if we can do something a bit more complex and also keep in mind i'm also capping the return tokens so we don't get like a very very long response at least in my experience ChatGPT has it sometimes with returning like endless amounts of text so if we ask something maybe still simple again use a simple word i think that's where the recorder becomes kind of challenged what is the color of the sky? The color of the sky typically appears blue during the day due to the scattering of sunlight by the atmosphere. Shorter blue wavelengths scatter more than other colors, making the sky look blue. However, the color can change depending on the time of day and... Yeah, so here you obviously see that it's, it's cut off, we're only getting the first 50 tokens, but again, it, it showcases the general functionality. And I think it's very much worth keeping in mind that this is like a base version. So the ways to then improve it would simply be, first of all, get a better audio recorder that actually turns the audio recording into text. And then also I think where all of this becomes very interesting is that if you actually incorporate it with some kind of like AI alien setup, so instead of just returning it directly or just sending it directly to ChatGPT, you could have a setup that depending on the input might do some extra calculations, might do some extra things. And I would imagine without knowing for sure that some of the current or recent like uh, chat AI startup companies are doing something similar like this, where they would take some input and kind of have that input categorized in some way. And then they would have like methods below that then is able to then enhance the response of the, of any model they might be using. But again, this is just a, a small showcase of a voice agent in Python. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description to um, a GitHub repository where you can have a look at this yourself. Of course, not including the API key for OpenAI, but still, 
I think this is a very simple setup that gives a pretty decent idea of this basic workflow of record audio, turn it to text, send it to a model. Here there might be some extra steps that could enhance it, but then in the end simply get a response and read it out loud. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of a voice agent in Python, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful 